53 on the uh, was it 17th of August. Um, I think this is what I'm getting. I've been here several times before, and what that is are rolls of cable that they utilize in pre-tensioning concrete forms. And uh, they, if you look in my side mirror here, it's made out of uh, the slinkies or coiled rod that we transport. And there's a slightly different way to secure this with straps than we do the coiled rod. And I'm going to try to capture it once I get it all strapped down. I'll take a quick uh, video if I can, if they'll let me, to show how that is. Because it also needs to be tarped. And with it uh, slightly bad weather, usually they load us outside, but I believe they'll be loading us inside. Based on where this particular truck is at this time and getting loaded. So I have a feeling I'll be... Uh, doing a blind side back in of this place or if that's where they really want me to back in which I'm going to go in and check right now I'll turn around and uh, pull in from uh, the driver's side because that's a lot easier. Alright here's my load. It's, uh, I've shortened it down. It was about 880 miles but it was going to uh, loop around. I had to put in this uh, waypoint in an in, in effort to straighten out my route. But I'm going all the way up to uh, Minnesota. Sorry, it you know, hey, it just went blurry. It, it can't handle the cold up there, I guess. I don't know. But um, it's approximately 15 hours and it delivers either tomorrow, uh, the 18th, or the 19th. Both open appointment times. If I can get there tomorrow before 1 o'clock, which is my goal, uh, that'll enable me to most likely get another load. I'm, not <laughs> I'm frustrated that it's uh, taking this long to refocus. That doesn't even make sense. There we go. See, I just talk about it and it thinks back, you know, oh, it starts feeling guilty and then decides to focus in. Anyway, what I went in, the individual actually met me because this individual that's in there right now is um, securing uh, and going to throw a tarp over. Uh, they said this product can't get wet. The reason I smile is every time I've been here, it has been a tarp load. But um, the places I deliver this to, they, they stack it outside. So, I don't know, maybe this particular location I'm going to, which I don't think I've been to before, maybe stores it indoors, but I have a feeling that will not be the case. Um, uh, so I will be strapping and covering it with a tarp inside, and once I get the straps on, um, I'm going to try to bust out the video camera so you can kind of see how this is, because just like the uh, coiled rod in the, in the way that we secure it, there's also a secondary securement method in order to hold the top steady because I guess these may have a, a greater uh, tendency or proponents to uh, tip over, you know, tip to one side or the other from the top. Because this is coiled cable, this is not a coiled rod per se, so there's a little bit more maybe flexibility in this than a typical coiled rod. And so in my effort in our effort to make sure that doesn't happen, we do a, uh, I guess it's like a figure eight over the top. You go up uh, through the product, up over the top, back down, and then back through the product the opposite way. So it looks like an eight if you're looking at it from the back side of the trailer. And it's secured to both sides of the trailer and thereby uh, tightening, I guess it's on the top, tightening the uh, product together and stabilizing it both to the left and the right. And that's in addition to the regular um, strapping we do completely around the interior of the, each uh, bundle of cable. So I'll be using uh, more, I guess, uh, load securement than is required per weight. This is a load securement uh, situation where you're securing according to the product that we are hauling and other, other companies may do it differently. Um, in this figure eight, four inch strap that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a half twist in the, uh, in the four inch strap. So when they meet in the center, cause both of these straps are gonna cross each other, I want them to be flat, 
the the uh, faces of the four inch strap to to meet flush up against each other because if I just went over the top and back through they'd have four inch straps and then I'd have another four inch strap buffing it up against the edge and they'd be rubbing against each other but if you put a half a twist in your strap they mount flush face to face with each other so there's very little friction and if there is friction it's uh, it's so minor that there's no rubbing actually on the strap that would cause any type of fraying but that's just me I learned that from uh, um, a Maverick driver who is now currently, I think, number one on seniority in the company. So, if he's still working. Last time I checked, he was number one. And he passed that trick on to me when I was in training because we went to lunch. And uh, Anyway, he's the one that told me to stay in for at least six months before I make any decisions. And here it is two years later, and it feels like uh, I think I'm finally used to this. Uh, the, the, the waiting, the hurry up and waiting. It's, it's not so much a hurry anymore, it's just the waiting now. I drive and then I wait. And then if I wait long enough, I get paid. It's great. Uh, the only thing I, I think I only stress out about are Fridays. Because I want to get home. And be home with my family on the weekend. Uh, not, no telling on how long this particular individual will take to do his securements. Let alone just covering the uh, top portion of these... Uh, bailed if I can hold the camera steady enough um, you can see they're stacked side by side and they're bailed uh, coils of cable covered in like a blue tarp or plastic material uh, for protection from the elements I suppose it's hard to uh, determine but from what I understand it's made from there's two different types they have this regular steel coiled rod but um, I don't see any right where I'm at right now there's also another type of coiled rod that they have and it looks like it has the appearance of aluminum but I can't say for sure because I've never hauled it myself so I don't know what that is but they have that at this location too and they may make more than one type of product here I've been here uh, several times and uh, hauled this product uh, many times so there's again my route um, I'm not necessarily stopping at this location number one that waypoint is basically just to encourage my GPS to ma maintain a more straight line uh, uh, travel because they only gave me 830 miles so I'll be traveling 39 miles out of route which is not a big deal for an 830 mile load uh, as far as percentages so let's see if I can do this there we go. there's a guy that gave a tip on how to <laughs> move my wrap around but that's not how my brain operates so see it's already out of focus <laughs> but uh, instead of uh, interstate 31 or 39 uh, it makes some as you zoom in it actually makes some more tight turns so 39 51 all the way up until I can uh, make some transitions onto an, another highway 90 here but anyway enough of that and again this delivers either tomorrow which is my goal it really depends on how long I'm gonna have to spend right here because oh. right now I have six hours and 58 minutes left on my 11 hour driving clock um, and I have seven hours and 46 minutes on my 14 hour clock so there's like a difference of what uh, 50 minutes approximately and look at that it just went out of focus why <laughs> it started out in focus and then goes out of focus ah! so and I wasn't focusing on anything else so basically this guy's got 50 minutes to get out of <laughs> and me to get loaded um, my 8 hour clock will reset so it will maximize my, my driving potential for today so I'm because uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping to drive five to six hours today. Yeah, six, twelve, six. 
Yeah, it'll be close. I don't know if it'll be really close to make it by tomorrow. So most likely I'll be delivering on first thing Friday morning. We'll see. I still have the potential to get home on Friday. Depends on where the load is that I pick up. Anyway, enough chatter for now because this video is going to get really long. Sorry. All right. So we've got the typical wraparound straps that we do for coils, but I also got this figure eight strap that we do across the top on each one of these to keep it stable. So we got 50, 56,000 pounds worth of securement on a 49,000 pound load, so. Oh, it's humid here. I might actually throw uh, a single strap across the bottom, the front, and the back. I left myself extra pulleys just in case. So I'm gonna do that right now, then tarp it and get out of here. Okay, if it'll focus, my drive time and my 14 hour clock are like a minute apart. That's how quick I am. Everything's done, secured with umpteen million straps. It's only 44,500 pounds. And uh, man, I'm, I'm perspiring. It's a little bit moist down here in Tennessee. I'm in uh, Dixon, Tennessee, going to Lino Lakes, Minnesota. Time to go hit the road, get as far as I can, and hopefully find a place to uh, park my truck. All right, just closing out this uh, video for today. It's, uh, let's see, look at my watch that doesn't exist on my, my wrist. It is 628 in the evening, and I'm at a rest area. I am in Illinois. And uh, rest area, I can't remember which one I'm at. I'm, I'm getting close to, uh, here. See, that's how much I'm paying attention right now. It'll take a while. Anyway, it's uh, lovely weather outside now that I'm in Illinois. And I've got uh, 10 hours and 23 minutes to go to my destination tomorrow. I will not make it in time to deliver tomorrow because they stopped taking their last uh, appointment time for receiving is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I will not be there by one. I'll Proceed to the highlighted route. I will probably be there by four o'clock in the afternoon, is what I think. Um, four or five. And um, yeah, they have overnight parking there. 624 miles to go. Should be doable. And. Uh, so I'll have a nice full day tomorrow. Um, they do, like I said, they have overnight parking, so I'll get there. Maybe they'll unload me still, but from what under the way I inter interpret these uh, assignment information is they have uh, receiving hours from uh, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, so with me arriving after that, odds are I won't get unloaded tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe not. Either way, they got parking there, so um, I will arrive Thursday night and be unloading first thing Friday morning and then hopefully get a load somewhere near there <laughs> that takes me home or takes me by my house. And there is always a possibility, but there is a, uh, in fact, there's two locations there. There's one that has sand, and getting me home with that is kind of iffy. But there is a place uh, uh, near there that does shingles. And uh, there is a, a hub to deliver this stuff near St. Louis. So maybe I'll get that. Who knows? We'll see. That's it for today.